Um, I probably spend about 90% of my days in pain of one kind or another. Um, I have several different health conditions and well, one of them is always acting up. Um, I have young children. They're, they're six and three and so they're not, um, they don't always understand, okay, mommy's got to take a break today. You, you don't really ever get a, a break from being a mom. Um, and so I have learned to try to figure out what, what, how am I doing today and what can I do to, um, get the things done that my kids need. Like they need to be fed. That's important, but they don't have to have the dishes get done. And so, um, I, there's a wonderful blog post called the spoon theory. Um, that if you just Google that and read the spoon theory, it explains it. But basically, um, spoons are like energy. And so a healthy person, when they wake up in the morning, they pretty much have an unlimited number of spoons that they can use throughout the day. They it takes them, it takes a spoon to get ready for work. It takes a spoon to get to work. It takes, costs you five spoons to go throughout your work day. Um, but, but people with chronic health conditions, they, they have a finite number of spoons each day and, and how many spoons they have just depends on the day. Sometimes you wake up with three spoons. Sometimes you wake up with five spoons. Sometimes you wake up with one spoon. And so you figure out, um, all right, I have to still be mom to my kids. I just, because I'm having a high pain day, I can't just lay in bed and ignore my kids. Um, same with a lot of us. We, we go out in the world and, and just kind of, but you, you learn to say, okay, well, I only have this many spoons today. What am I going to do with it? Um, so that I can still give my loved ones, my job, whatever it is, the time and attention needed. Um, and, and without borrowing spoons from tomorrow, because then I'll end up even shorter tomorrow. And so it, it's just weighing what priorities are. And you have those days where you're just in pain and, um, time ends. That's one thing that I have learned is that, um, a second, even if it feels like a minute is still only a second. And so this second has to pass. This time right now has to pass. It might feel like it's forever, but it has to pass. This minute, this 30 minutes, this hour of pain, it, it eventually will pass. And when I remind myself of that and I remind, remind myself that it, that it has in the, has previously, then I can do it.